Hey guys, it's Ingrid. I'm with, with Spa Treasures. I am making a new soap today called French Vanilla Coffee, and it smells exactly like French Vanilla Coffee. Um, it's just a uh, scent that I had and I haven't used, so I thought I'd go ahead and make it and get it ready for the holiday. Um, it'll probably be just a one-time or a limited soap for me. So I've got all my oils, my clays, my butters, and everything together. I'm putting in my lye water now. Give this a quick blend. I've got upcoming hot, uh, craft fairs, so I want to get them done and over with. Pour this off. And it's really um, just going to be two, co two colors, um, brown and white. And I'm going to put a uh, gold mica um, band in the middle of the gold and white, I mean, sorry, in the middle of the brown and white. And I really think that with the content of vanilla in it, it's going to turn it brown anyway. So um, that's going to be the best I can do for that. Probably. And my brown is um, just cocoa powder milk mixed with water. I like being able to use just all natural ingredients a lot of times in my soaps for colorant. going to turn a little darker on its own so I don't really need it to be really dark. Okay, so this will be my first time actually putting a band of mica in between the layers. So let's hope that it turns out well. Okay, so I'm going to add the fragrance. If you're a coffee lover, this is the fragrance. It smells so good. Had to 
get my stick blender back. I need the bottom layer to be a little thicker um, because it's got to hold the top layer as well as the mica. you can see. So let me go ahead and pour this into the mold. I guess I'll save just a little for the top. I don't really need that much for the top because I'm going to do a mica drizzle on the top. the sides that I just wanted to clean up a little bit. Okay. Oops. Okay, so let me get my mica. This is just a uh, tea ball, I guess that's what you call it, for loose leaf tea. That made an absolute mess everywhere. This should be good. It's just trying to get it out of that one little clump. Okay, so put the white on. The white has gotten a little thick. Once I get the first layer on, I can do a little bit more pouring. And
sorry I'm not doing a lot of talking. I'm just trying to focus on doing this. This is new for me, so I just want to make sure I'm doing it right. Okay, let's put a little bit of the brown that's left of that on top. Not my mess. Okay. I had a skewer. I don't know what I did, but it. Let me dig here and find it. Okay guys, there you have it. That is the coffee. A little bit. There you go. Um, it'll be avail available probably the 
um, third week of November. It'll be on our website as well as we'll have it at the craft fairs. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for the cutting video that I'll attach to this one. Thank you for watching. Bye. Hi guys, it's Inger with Spa Treasures. I'm back to show you the uh, cut soap for the uh, vanilla, French vanilla coffee soap that I made. Um, I put a mica line in the middle of it. You can't see it as much, but it's there. Um, you can see it in person, but it looks like it doesn't show as well on the camera, but it's there. So that's basically what it looks like. The next time I will probably do the mica line a little thicker than what I did this time, just so that it shows a little better. But all in all, I'm happy with the way that it turned out and it smells really good. So there you have it. Just wanted to check back with you and show you the cut version of the soap. It'll be available probably the 20th of November. Um, it will probably be a limited edition soap. I've had it, the fragrance oil, for quite a while. I just haven't used it. Um, depending on how it sells is whether it'll be a limited edition for next year or whether it will actually go into the line of soaps that I currently have. So thank you for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.